Billy Lord is a name you might have heard a lot during the past couple of years. She's had plenty of success since making her silver screen debut in Star Wars The Force Awakens in 2015. With famous blood running through her veins, there's no reason why she shouldn't be destined for stardom. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Billy Lord. Her family didn't want her to act. The daughter of Star Wars icon Carrie Fisher and talent agent Brian Lord, Billy Lord is also the granddaughter of Hollywood legend Debbie Reynolds and singer Eddie Fisher. With her immediate family all associated with the entertainment industry in one way or another, there was a common assumption that she would follow in their footsteps. However, her family was dead set against her embarking on a career in show business and did everything they could to talk her out of it. She told Town & County, they were like, this is going to be a really shitty lifestyle and everyone's going to be scrutinizing you deeply and constantly. Initially, she was put off by their warnings, but eventually Lord realized acting was in her blood. She created her own college major. She initially went to Wesleyan University in Connecticut. However, the small town vibe didn't seem to be the right fit for this city girl. She told Town & County, I was driving to New York every weekend anyway, so I ended up transferring. She transferred to New York University, where she designed her own major, Art Business as Religion. Growing up, Ward was never exposed to any kind of religion. Instead, she spent her childhood reading and learning about all sorts of beliefs, and approaching her education from a spiritual perspective seemed to be important to her. She originally auditioned to play Ren in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Believe it or not, the very first film Billy Lord ever acted in was the highly anticipated return of Star Wars The Force Awakens in 2015. In it, she plays Lieutenant Knix, but she originally had plans to play a much different character that could have completely changed the trajectory of her acting career, leading Lady Rey. In fact, Lord got a personal call from director J.J. Abrams himself to come in and read for it. In the end, the role ultimately went to actor Daisy Ridley, but Lord is thrilled just to have a part in the film, regardless if it's small or big. The death of her mother and grandmother had a major impact on her. Carrie Fisher died on December 27, 2016. Fisher's mother, Debbie Reynolds, passed away the next day. Their death left Lord devastated. Her mother and grandmother had each played a huge role in her life, and Lord was close to both of them. While the loss of the two women came as a huge blow to Lord, it provided her a new opportunity, in a way. She told Town & Country, I've always kind of lived in their shadows, and now is the first time in my life when I get to own my life and stand on my own. I love being my mother's daughter, and it's something I always will be, but now I get to be just Billy. Lord is also doing her best to honor her mother's memory. She said, it's a lot of pressure because she had such an incredible legacy, and now I have to uphold that and make it evolve in my own way. American Horror Story saved her life. After her mother and grandmother died, Lord threw herself into work. She landed a role on the seventh season of American Horror Story known as American Horror Story Cult. She told Entertainment Tonight that the show saved her life after her tragic loss. She said, when Ryan offered me Cult, it was just a few months after my mom passed, and it honestly helped me process all of my emotions through these characters. Being able to cry for winter helped me cry for myself. Honestly, it kind of saved my life. While the acting gig could, naturally, not make up for the losses she experienced, Lord was able to work through her own grief over the course of the season. She dyed her hair for the first time for American Horror Story. Hollywood actors frequently switch up their hair colors, so when Billy Lord was asked to go gray for her role as Winter Anderson on American Horror Story, it didn't seem like a huge issue. Yet, for her, it was a major moment. She told Vulture, I've never dyed my hair. To make her hair look as realistic as possible, creator Ryan Murphy didn't want Lord wearing a wig, either. She even asked if she could. Prior to the premiere in 2017, Lord debuted her silvery strands on Instagram and made a total statement. But that was only the beginning for her new look. From the very first day Lord showed up on set, she found herself having to constantly maintain her newly colored mane. She said, I had to retouch it up, like, every two weeks. Since wrapping up the show, Lord has gone back to her roots, pun intended. She knows how to keep a secret. Almost everything about her has been a secret. From her relationships, to how she was grieving through the death of her mother and grandmother so close together, Lord has always kept things to herself, including the birth of her son. Fans had no idea she was pregnant until she announced the birth of her son on social media. Meryl Streep is her godmother. 
Scarlett Lord grew up in a pretty famous family, so it would only make sense that her godmother is a massive movie star too, Meryl Streep. Way before Lord was ever born, her mother Carrie Fisher met Streep on the set of Postcards from the Edge. Fisher wrote the film, and Streep was cast in the starring role. From there, the working relationship quickly turned into a lifelong friendship. When Fisher gave birth to her only daughter, she gave Streep the ultimate honor of becoming her godmother. As Lord slowly made her way into show business, Streep was always there to bestow her best wisdom upon her. Something Streep continually told the aspiring actor was to enjoy yourself and take a step back and try to not be stressed every day, which is great advice that Lord's been able to take off screen as well. Her favorite movie of all time is a comedy. Out of all the movies in the world, there's something about I Love You Man that has Lord re-watching it again and again. She told W Magazine, I'm obsessed with that movie and Paul Rudd is everything to me. I can always go to sleep to that movie because it is the most uplifting, hilarious movie in the world. Whenever she's going through a tough time in her life, Lord told Elle that she always has the movie on repeat. She wants to record an album one day. Sure, Lord is a well-known movie star now, but singing happens to be another one of her passions. Over the years, we have gotten a few sneak peeks of her singing voice on her Instagram page, but she's more serious about it than just a few social media posts. In fact, she hopes to be able to release her own album and perform professionally. But, as she told Town & Country, we'll have to wait for her to develop the balls to record an album.